guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back, it's Trivet time again. I am pouring two black backgrounds today and um, I'm using colors based on the suggestions from my friends. Um, when I asked them to describe 2020 in color, almost every single one of them described it as black and blue. So we're gonna go with bruise colors today, which sounds horrible, but it's gonna be amazing. So um, black background, then I have Color Shift um, Green Flash, which is such a pretty color. Um, this blue, you can see here, so pretty. And that is just Apple Barrel Bright Blue. Got that at Walmart. And then the purple is this Cheapo Deco Art Crafters Acrylic in African Violet. So let's get started. I flooded with black, blew out the bubbles. And so we're going to start with, I'm going to do the metallic on the bottom because those tend to pop out the most. So let's go with that guy. I'm going to use a little bit more paint than I've been using on some of the other trivets. Don't know why, just am going to today. Um, purple. I didn't mix up very much paint for these little guys. They're kind of tiny. Um, so, and then we're gonna have blue. The other trivet, I can't remember what colors my friends suggested. I'll have to check it out in just a minute. All right, so let's put a little bit of black on to help things move along. And then we're gonna blow it out. Um, I'm gonna use the hair dryer on these. Usually on the trivets, I use just my mouth or the tiny little like um, air blower, like tiny mini leaf blower that you can get on Amazon. Um, but today I decided I'm gonna use the hair dryer for this guy. So let's blow out the bubbles on these guys. All right, now let's blow out the uh, colors. Let's see what happens. See how much that green is coming out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I actually really kind of like that. I love this, especially how this has all come together. I may pour this again. What are we thinking, guys? Think we should do it again? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's think about it. Let's let it sit for a second. What do we think? Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna re-pour part of it. Put a little bit more purple in there. Um, oh, what am I doing? That's not the right purple at all. Maybe use this purple. Let's use a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll use, let's do something a little bit different here. I don't usually do things like this, but let's we use a different purple. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of depth on this side that'll be a little bit different. And a little bit of blue. And this green is just like bonkers green, right? So we'll just do a touch and a touch. And then put some black. So we'll see what happens. I kind of like the idea of maybe that um, blowing over this here. Part of it too may just be the power of the hair dryer and the smaller amount of paint. I don't know. Let's pop some bubbles. Let's give it a shot. Yes, so much better. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so glad I did that. 
Look at how pretty that is. For a bruise, it's really pretty. <laughs> Oh, that green, I thought for sure I was going to hate that green. And then I started using it in my paintings. And oh my gosh, you guys, it is so pretty. It's so pretty. It gives such a beautiful depth to a lot of deeper greens. It's so pretty. Check this out, guys. How pretty is that? Oh, that is a pretty baby. That is such a pretty baby. Um... Okay, now the other one. Let's move this guy over here. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Now, of course, I'll bring you back and show you the other one as finished. Now, this one I am using same colors, but adding in um, a little bit of well, let's see what happens. Let's see what we use first. Let's do purple first this time. And... We'll use the two different colors of purple. And I'll use this blue. I'm glad I didn't mix up a whole bunch of these guys. Just enough, I think. Yep, just enough. It's always nice when I do that. <laughs> As opposed to fighting and being mad at myself later trying to get stuff out of the cup there. Don't want to lose the blue with this purple business that's happening. Um, green. This green is so pretty. All right, I'm going to try to use it a little bit sparingly here as opposed to what I did the last time, even though it turned out so, so pretty. All right. Scotch of white. And then, no, no. What's happening? All right, and then I'm gonna use this purple over just for something a little bit different let's use squiggles <laughs> all right now some black i already like what i see things are moving and that makes me very 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 happy let's see see if i can get that off of there don't love that little speck there now we will do the same technique with the hair dryer. I'm gonna do blow bubbles and then I'm going to blow it out. Here we go. Are we ready? All right, let's go. Okay, let's give it a minute and see what develops. Sometimes this is prettier than the actual blowout. Um, that's just my opinion. I think it's beautiful um, the way it develops on its own. I think paint is so fascinating and how it works with all of the other paints together. And it depends on what kind of paint pouring medium you're using. Um, today I'm using three parts flow trial to one part paint. Um, usually I use one to one flow trial paint. Um, but today I just tried it. I want decided I wanted to move a little bit more easily because the tiles suck in everything so fast. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, so let's see what happens here. How much is the green going to come out? Did I not use enough? I don't think I used enough green, guys. Definitely don't think I used enough green, but this is really pretty. Do I stick with these bruise colors? <laughs> um, I think I might, and I think I might leave it just like it, well, no, I'm gonna blow over here. Let's see here, see this? Here's what we're working with right now. All right, I'm gonna blow out this corner, and some green is coming through, so that's good. That's what I was hoping for. So I'm gonna move this a little bit. I have my, 
puppy pads here to absorb paint. And then I have the um, trash bag on top of that to catch the paint so I can make skins. I make jewelry out of the skins. So um, that's really fun. Yes. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. I'm going to wipe the edges of the other tile really quickly and then we will revisit it oops sorry for the arm don't forget if you're painting to always scrape the edges otherwise it will continue to pull your paint way off your canvas um, I've lost so many paintings that I loved <laughs> um, because I didn't do that in the beginning I would paint something and I'd be like oh it's amazing and then I would just walk away and then it would be like what was I thinking why did I do that um, I feel like maybe we need something this way. It wouldn't be me if I wasn't tinkering. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. What do you think, guys? There we go. Oh, I like that better. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot better. Do we see any bubbles anywhere? I think most of them have popped on their own. Okay, this is actually really, really pretty. Look how the green is coming through over here. How pretty that is. Look how pretty that is, guys. All right. I'm in love with these two. So there's that one. And then here is this guy. Oh, gorgeous. Well, I didn't even hold that long enough, did I? Look at that. So pretty. All right, guys, I am, oh, no, I am done for the day um, for the trivets. I am, oh, that actually looks pretty how I pulled that over there. <laughs> um, sometimes you get lucky. Um, all right, guys, I am, I think I'm all done. I'm just patching up this corner that I completely jacked up on this guy over here. Um, all right, so also that was a really good example of how clumsy I am. I am constantly knocking things over and uh, dropping things and making a general mess. Um, I wouldn't be me if that weren't happening. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love, love, love that you guys show up here. Um, and um, thank you to, there are a couple of the, uh, viewers who um, asked about um, donating to my PayPal to help support my art and um, you can do that too I'll put the link in the description um, thank you so 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 much it this um, acrylic pouring has been such good therapy for me I mean I've been doing it for a, a few years now but it's such good therapy for me um, especially during this pandemic it has been sort of a lifesaver um, to be able to sit and make notes and, you know, ask my friends, you know, hey, you know, I was thinking of doing a painting that represents 2020. What colors do you think that would, that would work for that? And it's been thrilling to hear their suggestions and to um, have them get excited about the paintings just like I do. It's really, really fun. So thank you guys. Have a great day.